Hi, and welcome to New Haven Display's product overview for the 7 inch BeagleBone capes. In this video, you'll see the perks of the BeagleBone Black, a preview of these products, and a quick demonstration to start developing with one of these capes. Engineered in Elgin, Illinois, New Haven Display's 7 inch BeagleBone capes are designed for the BeagleBone Black, which is part of a community supported platform for developers and hobbyists. The BeagleBone supports Android, Debian, and Ubuntu Linux to easily get you started developing with a 7-inch TFT display. The BeagleBone Black uses a fast 1 GHz ARM Cortex-A8 processor with a 3D graphics accelerator, providing plenty of power to drive images and video to the display. The BeagleBone community offers a wide variety of open source and feature-rich capes to add to your design. New Haven Display's 7 inch BeagleBone capes are available with three different display options sunlight readable, premium MVA, and a standard display type. Each cape features a 7 inch diagonal 800 by 480 resolution 24 bit true color TFT with a 5 point multi touch capacitive touchscreen. A variety of additional features are included with these 7 inch BeagleBone capes. There are four 3.5 mm mounting holes, enabling standard M3 or 6x32 screws for an effortless mounting process. A secondary header is available for additional capes, along with a reset button for the BeagleBone Black, and a two-position dip switch for configuring the EEPROM's I2C address. Each cape also includes a pulse width modulation output for display backlight dimming control. The open source hardware and software will provide a jump start in the development process making it easy while dramatically cutting down development time. In today's demonstration, I'll be using the premium MVA model of the 7-inch BeagleBone Cape. You'll be able to see which display model it is by the mark indicated here. The sunlight readable model has the N, the premium a V, and the standard model with an L at the end. The following guide can be applied the same to any of the 7-inch BeagleBone Capes you're working with. The requirements for use of the product are a BeagleBone Black with a suitable software distribution loaded, the minimum of a 4 GB microSD card, and a 5 volt DC supply suitable for the BeagleBone Black. The BeagleBone capes are designed to work with existing software and drivers already developed for the BeagleBone Black. Let's get started. Connect the 7 inch BeagleBone cape to the BeagleBone Black without the power supply connected. You'll see the outline of the board printed on the cape as a guide for correct orientation. If using this with other capes, make sure the added cape is not conflicting with signal pins already in use by the capacitive display cape. Ensure the dip switch on the capacitive display cape is set to the desired EEPROM ID address and is different than any other added capes. Ensure your BeagleBone Black is loaded with a suitable Android or Linux distribution. Connect a 5 volt supply to the DC jack of the BeagleBone Black. It's recommended to use a 2 amp power supply. Once power is connected, it will take a minute or so to boot from the compact flash. A boot screen will appear on the display depending on which operating system is loaded. You can now start developing with the display. Leave behind complicated development setups for a compact and powerful 7-inch BeagleBone cape. From all of us here at New Haven Display, we thank you for watching.